looks like Dynamo's back to waste more of our time. Before I take him off, I'm gonna attach a couple more parts. Or not. The power up parts that I've been getting are mostly for X. But Zero can use a few too. Shock Buffer is important. It was either Shock Buffer or Hyper Dash. Hyper Dash isn't really that important. For Zero, his techniques are a little bit different. For starters, he uh, does that twice. And he also likes to uh, shoot energy across the screen. But I'm not going to let him do that. But now that we've got his weakness, it's really not difficult taking him down. I'm already working work him down to have help. about the jumper part, part that Zero can equip. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, down to the last two Mavericks. And after this video, it's a fun little montage video where I get to go back and collect stuff. Just like in X6. Okay, so the constellations, they're going to be a lot more, and they're going to have a lot more enemies coming out of them. The bat bones usually drop health, but they never will in this, in this run. There's a lot more on screen at once, so it slows down the game a little bit. You gotta be careful of those, because those are insta-kill spikes. It's really annoying. Because I'm here. Okay, thought I was gonna fall there. Help me grab, and keep moving with this. This thing. This thing's annoying as I hell. The 
more bat bones. And that's just bad luck. And I thought I was low enough. I guess I wasn't. I wasn't going to be able to make it with the dash jump either. This fool. These things. Eat these things. But at least they didn't fall on the platform that I needed to get across. So I have a safe voyage this time. Second sub tank. I got the Falcon armor. And I head on to the next area. This area is a little bit more fun. Not so many constellations. Still got a lot of enemies around, but it's not so bad. And look at it, it flips upside down. That's pretty cool. The jumper part's really useful in this area. the idea at all. It was just really difficult. When I first played this game, I thought that was a pit. And I was feeling daring because I couldn't find the armor part, so I was just decided to take a look. Sigma, which is why he has the Sigma symbol. He's the only boss that was already a Maverick before all of this started. Because he was created by Sigma. And... crap. He summons Bat Bones, and like all the other Bat Bones in this run, they won't drop anything. But even if it was normal, he wouldn't, they wouldn't drop anything anyway. So don't get your hopes up for a healing item. try to grab you for like a vampire like a vampire bad 
drain your life energy to add to his own. He never did it though, at least when I was fighting him. Sometimes he would just hang out at the top and prepare himself. He uses his sonic waves, which he does every time I fight him. Preparation for dark holes, but apparently he makes himself weak to his own weapon. That's all she wrote for Dark Dizzy. Fat lady singing. Or blow it up or something. We've got two hours. That's just enough time to kill one more Maverick. and knife, of course. Speed shot. It's useful, but I don't use it. Ah, another one of my favorite areas to visit. The music for this area is also very good. This could probably be the area of the jungle that Web, uh, Web Spider is close to. Because they both are in a jungle that have water. This could be, like, further down further down the path behind Web Spider. It would make sense, it could be plausible. There's gonna be some ambush enemies here. Those, uh, those giant mechanical mines that can pop out of the ground and surprise you. But you can actually spot them before they pop out with a little tip of green. Haha, <laughs> he tried it. Dash right through it. But I didn't get away with that one. He got me. And these things. They're just kinda they're just designed to get in the way. No. No. There's another one. These things will try to grab you if you're close enough. Expecting one up in the air. Aww. Just hoping to get in there with full health. It's not a big deal though. I don't think he threatened him. He just said, give him the orbit engine. Oh. Yeah, 
it's worth fight worth fighting anyway. He jumps around the stage, so he'll duplicate himself. You have to attack the one that jumps out when he duplicates himself. That one. The other one is just a fake. Not really much of a tough boss. that, we shall see if Zero succeeds in destroying the colony and comes back to the Hunters, or if he is awakened. See you then.